Hello everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Shaw family. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer affordable ancestral research service. So if you've been meaning to get your genealogy done, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Our reports include a pedigree chart or family tree showing how far back into history we were able to trace your lineage, as well as an assessment of the coats of arms associated with your surname and a determination of which, if any, of these coats of arms were born by your ancestors. The first Shaw coat of arms to discuss is blazoned, argent, a chevron between three fusils ermines, crest, six arrows interlaced satire-wise or flighted and headed argent tied together by a belt gules, buckle and pendant gold. This was the arms of the Shaws of Eltham in the county of Kent, a title in the baronetage of England that was awarded in 1665 to Sir John Shaw, the Commissioner of Customs and a Member of Parliament. Sir John was the son of a London vintner named Robert Shaw, who died in the year 1678. Here we see a picture of, I believe, the third baronet. And here we show a list of the baronets all the way through the 10th baronet. The next coat of arms is Argent, a chevron ermine, a Canton Gules. Chevron Ermines, a Canton Gules. Crest, a Falcon Volant proper. This coat of arms was borne by the Shaws of Preston and Lancashire, who descended from William Shaw of Shaw Hall in Leyland. His son Richard Shaw died in the year 1629. Argent, a chevron between three lozenges ermines. This was found on the funeral entry of Anne Shaw, who died in 1661. She was the wife of Captain William Shaw of Dublin, Ireland, who was the son of Richard Shaw, Esquire of Loveland, in Chester, England. Azure, three covered cups or this belonged to the Shaws of Scotland. Sir James Shaw of Souchy, Scotland, was in the late 1400s a commander of the garrison of Stirling Castle and was knighted for his services by the king. He was the son of John and the grandson of James Saw Shaw of Souchy, who died in the year 1491. One of his descendants, Sir John Shaw, born around the year 1615, was of Greenock in Renfrew, Scotland. He was a lieutenant colonel and a member of parliament. He was awarded the Shaw Baronetcy of Greenock in the year 1687. Azure, three mullets infest between as many covered cups argent. Crest, a dexter hand proper holding a covered cup argent. This belonged to a John Shaw of Sornbeg, Scotland. And we know that John Shaw was a lord of Hay, Hayline, Haley, in four, yes, I'm sorry. John Shaw was lord of Haley in 1409. And his son received lands of Sornbeg and Polkemet in the year 1477. There were many John Shaws. I'm not sure which one the arms was granted or borne by. 
Arjun, a chevron between three fusils, ermines, a chief, gules. This was confirmed in the year 1602 in Bristol. I believe that this was the coat of arms of Mary Shaw, the daughter of George Shaw of Bristow, wife of Thomas Freer. Or a chevron wavy between three eagles displayed sable, crest, a hind's head or pierced through with an arrow of gold headed and feathered argent. This is noted as being of Colchester, County Essex, and London, granted in the year 1586. I believe this was granted to John Shaw, Clerk of the Chamber of London. Gules across double parted and fretty argent between in the first and fourth quarters a dagger, in the second and third quarters a tower argent, crest a demi savage with a club proper. This was born or granted to James Shaw, Sheriff of London and Middlesex in 1874 and 1875. And lastly, argent a chevron between ten crosses crosslet gules, crest. A griffin's head, erased, ermine, collared, lined, and ringed or I was unable to find any information on this one. If you have any, please let us know in the comments. Or if you have any corrections, please let us know in the comments. And that's it. Thank you. Please visit us at coadb.com where we offer ancestral and heraldic research as well as digital JPEGs in high resolution for $13.99.